Morning gang, it's Thursday the 18th of May 2017. A warm welcome along to today's United Kingdom talk. Very important news this morning uh, for gardeners, boys and girls. Are you a gardener? Huh? Do you like pottering about there, pulling up the odd weed and, and planting the odd new plant? Don't, dear. I went to the garden centre again the other day. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But more importantly, snails are on the run. The slugs and the snails are back, boys and girls. Oh, yes. If you've got a garden, you need to deal with this now before they start <coughs> and multiplying. I hate that. Have you ever seen a snail or a slug <coughs> and multiply? It's not a nice look. It really isn't. It's bad enough seeing cats do it. I've seen cats do the uh, 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 outside my back door and fur everywhere, dear. <laughs> fur everywhere. I mean, they must get hurt when they're doing it. God's sake, man. But snails, not a nice look. You've got to get those little blue pellets down now. Otherwise, they will multiply. And what will happen is you'll go to bed one night and in the morning you'll get up and you'll have a beautiful garden. You know, uh, busy lizzies and things sticking up all over the place. And you go, oh, what a lovely garden I've got. What a I'm so happy. What a lovely garden I've got. And then you'll go to bed. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Although I'm not sleeping too well at the moment. Last, the last, actually, since I come back from holiday. Isn't that strange? Now, normally, it's the other way around for me. I go away somewhere and I cannot sleep, dear, in a stranger's bed or... These days, just a strange bed. <sighs> no invites now from anyone's bed for so long now, dear. But never mind, I had the opportunities before. Um, yes, I, I'm having trouble sleeping at the moment. Anyway, so you you, you go to bed, lovely girl. <sighs> so then you wake up in the morning and you throw back the curtains. And say, Let me have a look at my garden. And there's nothing left. All there is, is Trowels, silver trowels everywhere across your garden. Complete bit, like like we like the surface of Mars. A lot of people think I come from Mars. Like the surface of Mars, it's completely bare. Silver trowels going everywhere, and just stalks sticking up where there used to be wonderful plants. Stalks all over the place. Ghastly, dear. You've got to get rid of those ghastly, awful snails before they eat everything. You need to put the blue pellets down. Oh, don't start going on about, what if the birds eat them and the birds will die? I'm sorry, dear. What about my plants? My plants are dying. No one cares. What about my poor plants, dear? Sod the birds and the snails. God's sake, man. And how do birds die? Here's the thing. How do birds die? Do they die mid-flight? You know, because I've never seen a bird drop out the sky. Have you seen that with your little eyes? Have you ever seen a bird drop out the sky? You know, so they might have had something to eat. Mm -hmm. Add something. Mm -hmm. Peck, 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 peck. Incidentally, <laughs> my cat, poor old cow, she's so old now, bless her. I have a highly incontinent, a completely incontinent cat now. She goes in, I, I try and put me, actually, she's in the garden at the moment. I make sure it's not going to rain. Also, I make sure it's not too hot for her because <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I did leave her in the garden. It was quite warm. And I thought, oh, she'll like it out here. Um, I came back, I think I came up here to do a show, actually, up into Studio A1 here at the United Kingdom Talk Television Complex. I came to do a show, and when I went back down, she was a, <sighs> like a dog panting. <sighs> Her little tongue was out like that. <sighs> and I thought, <coughs> and of course it was a Sunday night. I thought, oh, don't say I'm going to have to take her to the vet now. Not at the enormous expense the vet would charge me on a Sunday night. Oh, oh well, they're, uh, officially they're not working at the moment, so there'd be that. Plus it's out of hours. Plus he's having his lunch. Plus he's just been to the toilet. You know, a bit like that is when you take it to the vet, isn't it? Any extras they can possibly... And they don't even give nectar points. No nectar... Not that, of course, I use nectar points. Not I don't go to Sainsbury's very much. I've got, a, incidentally, I've got a, a triple nectar points voucher here that is usable until the 30th of May. How long have we got to use that? So a couple of weeks. Anyone want to buy that off me? £10. 
a triple. <laughs> well, perhaps we could give this as a prize. Does it work? Because well, it's a little little line code thing there. Would that work with any card? Or is that like restricted to my own personal Nectar card? I wonder. I do wonder. Anyway, so back to the birds, boys and girls. Do birds die mid-flight? So maybe you're driving along. Oh, I'm okay, just taking no notice of anything going on. And suddenly a bird <laughs> drops down on your windscreen. I mean, preferable, preferable, to be honest, to a lump of concrete that some scallywag has dropped from a bridge over the M4 or something like that. You know, I'd rather have a dead bird hit my screen. But is that how they die? Or are they always on the ground when they die? I remember my budgie dying. Oh, no, don't. Please don't bring that up. Oh, I can't find it. I remember my budgie dying years ago. His name was Benny. Benny the budgie. Or was it George? No, I had two. We had two budgies. George was a yellow one. And Benny was a blue one. No, I think George. Yes, it was Benny the budgie. Benny, Benny the Budgie was called Benny because we got him from Bentles, which is a department store in Kingston. Very nice there, dear. They have a bloke playing a piano on Saturdays. Not very well, mind, but it's quite nice. Benny the Budgie. This is, I'm going back here years and years here. I've actually got a picture of my Budgie somewhere. I must find it for you at some point. Um, George, George the Budgie, that was our first Budgie. He was yellow. Not a canary, a budgie, a yellow budgie, very unusual. And we used to open a little cage, and he'd fly around the room. And then some idiot left the living room, le left the left the balcony door open once, and off he went. Bye. <laughs> Benny the budgie also used to fly around the room. And then one day, I, I heard him making strange noises. It was a bit like that. While I was I was sitting at my piano because I had a real piano then, and um. This, this buddy was making strange noises, <laughs> like that. And I put my little finger in his cage and he jumped, he hopped on my cage, hopped, not hopped on my finger, like he usually does like that. I said, are you all right, George, uh, uh, Benny? <laughs> it was like that. I said, oh, I think you're going to die, aren't you? <gasps> I remember this. I was about 15, 16, 17, 18, something like that. <laughs> oh... And I put him back in his little cage and I went out to the shops. I come back, it's flat on his back. Legs in the air. Dead. Is that how birds die? Or do some of them die mid-flight? That is the question. That is the question to ask you this morning. Let's say hello to a few people who are with us today. Hello to Danny Clemens. Are you in the USA, Danny? Nice to see you, sir. I haven't seen you for ages and ages on here. Have you been hiding from us here on Facebook One Colour? Good morning to Adam the Plumber. Morning, Adam. Um, Diane's there this morning. Good morning, Diane. Let's see. Uh, Nathan's there. Good morning, Nathan. Morning, young man. Uh, Ray Reynolds International is there as well. Good morning, Ray Reynolds. Um, oh, Ray says something went wrong. When? When did something go wrong? Has something gone wrong? <laughs> good morning to Lily this morning. Have a good day to you, Lily, as well. Uh, Tommy Flynn. Now, where have you been, dear? We haven't seen you for ages on here. Good morning, Tommy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, AD, good morning to AD. Ah, Ray. What, I, did I go off for a moment or two? Anyone else? Or was it just Ray? Can someone tell me, please? Did I go off for a moment or two? Uh, good morning to uh, AD says, I like a tidy garden. Yes, AD, I like a tidy garden with no snails or dead birds upside down, hopefully. Blimey, you've got to get those blue things out, dear. Get them out nice and quickly or, you, or they will overrun the place. Uh, good morning to Wendy. Morning, Wendy. I had a nice chat with Wendy last night on the phone. She enjoyed the show yesterday, didn't you, Wendy? Uh, and Wendy says, just on my way to Manchester. We'll watch later. Have a lovely day. Uh, have a safe trip, Wendy. Or are you driving, darling? That's not fun, is it, driving through Manchester doing the daytime? Must be like driving through London, I would imagine, doing the daytime. Not fun at all. <clears throat> good morning to Alan Mus Russell. Uh, Alan's coming down to sing us a few songs at tomorrow's karaoke at Central Station in King's Cross every Friday night from 8.30 and every Monday night from 8 o'clock. Incidentally, the Sunday karaoke starts this week. OK, Sunday karaoke starts at the Camden Eye in Camden Town this Sunday. That's the 21st of May 
8 p.m. till 11 p.m. If you're wondering exactly where it is in Camden, uh, you come out of the tube station and you're, you're, you're practically there. It's that close, all right? So that's uh, this Sunday and every Sunday from this week. Good morning to Craig. Morning, Craig. You're coming along soon, aren't you? With your other half to sing us a few songs? I do hope so, dear. What are you going to sing for me? What are you going to sing? That's the question. Uh, good morning to Jason Alexander, who says, are you having a stroke? <laughs> well, I'm not like today. I'm having a stroke like that. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's United Kingdom talk. I've just gotten someone to be offended by that. Oh, oh, you're taking the mick out of people that have had strokes. Oh, do me a favour, will you? It's a comedy show, dear. Humour, humour. If you don't get it, turn it off. We don't do complaints here. Well, we do. We do, actually. And I'll tell you why I'm doing complaints at the moment. I'm doing complaints this morning, OK? Because I've run out of toilet paper. Therefore, if you send in a complaint, I'll print it off and I'll use that as toilet paper. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> good morning to John Aitken, who said it's a lovely day. Been out for the paper. Uh, any good crosswords? I'm stuck. I'm no good at crosswords, John. What a shame you didn't know my mum. Oh, she was fantastic at anything like that. She won. Uh, she used to get all the spelling tests and all that correct at school. I remember her telling me. She loves, she would, every morning she would do the crossword. I couldn't even complete the junior crossword in the evening standard. Not good at crosswords at all. No, not good at crosswords. Uh, good morning, John. Good morning to, uh, Ray Reynolds says we went off for a minute. Did I go off at all? Can it, someone else tell me that? Or was it only Ray's end? Could someone else let me know? Because if it was this end as well, I need to know and possibly do something about it. Good morning to David Anthony. Good morning, David. I haven't seen you on here before. Morning, David. Morning. Uh, Blakey is there. What's the phone number? We haven't opened the phone lines, Blakey. We haven't opened the phone lines. <laughs> Why are you always wanting to phone in when we haven't opened the phone lines? And then you don't ring in when the phone lines are open. What's all that about? Do try and keep up with us, Mr. Blakey. Thank you. Um... Ray says, do you have a match and more card? Now, what's that? I don't know what that is, Ray. Is that your supermarket? Because Ray, uh, Ray Bolasco, can you see him there? He works at Morrison's in Queensbury on the bread and cakes counter. Yes. If you mention United Kingdom talk, you won't get anything off. But it would be nice that uh, you mention it anyway. Good morning, Ray. I don't know what a match and more card. I'm assuming that's something to do with Morrison's where you work, is it? I don't have one of those. I like the colour scheme in Morrison's, don't you? Yellow and white and very bright. Very nice indeed. Good morning, Ray. Uh, Bar Barbie. Good morning to Barbie Leeds this morning. Morning, Barbie. Nice to see you. Uh, Ray says, learn some new songs, some love songs for someone special. No, please, Ray, if you're coming to the karaoke, no love songs. No slow, dreary, depressing songs. And I will always love you. Please, no, not that song. You're my hero. Oh, God, no. Let's have a bit of save your kisses for me. Save all your kisses. Let's have Bon Jovi. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, oh. We're living on a prayer. Or even some Frank Sinatra, but not my way. Not my way. I know it is my way. No, none of those, dear. Happy songs. <clears throat> There's too many slow, depressing songs being bought out at karaoke nights. We've got to get rid of them. Abort them. Push. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If, if too many people start bringing in slow karaoke songs, I'm going to get my, sl my snail killers and put that on the stage. And if anyone does it, I shall push them over and they will fall face first into the snail slug stuff and they will die. So don't do any slow songs, please. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, Alan says he's got no problem watching it. Uh, OK, so it must have been must have been you, Ray, I think. Where are the photos gone from behind you? They were there yesterday. We change things around here all the time. Now, look at this. You'll love this. Do you know what this is? Any idea what that is? Go and have a guess, everyone, and I'll show you in a minute. You'll love that. You'll absolutely love that. Uh, Diane says, oh, mine went off for a minute too. What, a whole minute or just a little bit? Was it a whole minute, Diane, or just a bit? What actually went off? The sound or the whole thing? 
And how did it come back again? Because I haven't sort of lost anyone, I don't think. Um, Craig says, what software did you use to mix the pictures on Facebook Live? Ah, yes. Um, oh, it's called OBS. O B I think it's Open Broadcaster Software. But if you type in OBS Broadcaster, you will find it. And it's free. It's completely free. Isn't that wonderful? And it is such a fantastic piece of software. It really is. I can swap from camera to camera quite easily. Look at that. I can bring in little films, uh, pictures. I've got various pictures here that I want to show you today. Here's the Dick Emery pictures from yesterday. And all I do is click a mouse. Fantastic, isn't it? I can bring up phone numbers, all sorts of things. Yeah, it's fantastic, Craig. So that's it's called OBS. And I have a separate computer um, just for that. So I've got two computers in here. I've got one where all your messages, Facebook, all the news stories come up, Skype's on it, um, all that business. And uh, the other computer, all it does is do, does the program. So it sends out the, the, the video stream and the audio stream. And it mixes the pictures and things like that together, all right? That's, that's, that's the technical stuff, especially for Craig. Thank you very much, Craig. Um, uh, Stafford says, I got a song about my anxiety that will make you slit your wrist. Well, I don't want to hear it then, do I? I'm fed up with depressing songs, Stafford. We're not having any of that, Mr. Blakey. No. No, thank you. Um... Alan says it's all gone to ah, oh, it's gone off again. Is it? I don't know why it's going off. I have no idea. To me, it looks like it's okay. So maybe there's a little problem today. Do we need to cut a show short and maybe do another one later or something? Or shall I carry on? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to go? Uh, Adam says it's happened to me as well. Video pauses and then you have to press play again. I don't know why that is doing that. Don't know what the, why that's doing that at the moment. Now, listen, lines are not open at the moment. I keep telling you, dear. Pay attention to the whole show. Thank you very much. OK, so that's it there. Uh, as I say, put those uh, put those little snail slugs out and things like that. Anyone know what this is yet? Come on, someone guess what this is too. Craig, if if this if, if it keeps going on off, Please let me know and I'll uh, I'll have to stop and perhaps do it later. I don't think there's anything wrong here. I would imagine it's the um, it's the Internet and I might have to turn the router off and all again, possibly to reset it. But if I do that, then it go then it all goes off and it doesn't come back. All right. So I must warn you there. Good morning, Shania. How are you this morning? Lovely people on the Isle of Wight. We had someone else from the Isle of Wight dial in yesterday to the show. Yes. We have a, an extra listener on the Isle of Wight. How exciting is that? Is anyone watching anything else on the Isle of Wight other than me? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, let's. Uh, Nathan says, uh, can you give a shout out to Tranmere Rovers Football Club? Oh, Nathan, I don't really do football, mate. Do I look like a football person? I think, I, sometimes I wear the shorts. So, I mean, I'd willingly pay £50 for a pair of Cristiano Ronaldo shorts, unwashed. I would like to wear those. I think they'd be more of an armband on me. No one's guessed what this is yet, have they? Look at this. This wonderful implement behind me. No one know what that is? Come on. Are you off, Ray? Cheerio, Ray. <clears throat> anyway, so there we are. Now, as well as, as people doing depressing songs at karaoke. I'm growing very concerned at the, the increasing number of depressing posts on Facebook. Now, a little while ago, we were doing a little section in the show, interesting Facebook posts. I think we need to do a different, different, a, a different thing on that. Depressing posts on Facebook. You know, the sort which involves breakups, where one or the other, or both, start a slanging match on Facebook. You know, you did this, oh, don't believe him, he's like this, or don't believe her, she's like that. That There's one there. Uh, a lot of dead people now appearing on Facebook, people, uh, you know, sad, sad, yes. But I get so depressed seeing the latest person who's died of this, or, uh, you know, uh, or, or, or someone who's, who's, I don't know, um... 
uh, lost someone, and it's and it's a bit of an outpouring, you know, not just a comment, uh, the whole story. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to cry, you know. It's like watching a sad film on the telly. Maybe this is the modern version of, uh, I don't know, uh, The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. Or a sad film like that. What's that? What's that shit? What the Titanic? Is it? Is it a modern version of the Titanic to see depressing Facebook posts? And then you got the old hating ones, haven't you? I hate anyone who votes Conservative. I hate anyone who votes La Labour. I don't believe anyone that votes Liberal Democrat. <laughs> oh, what are they about, the Lib Dems, dear? I mean, why don't they just give up and go home? It's just such a waste of money and time, dear. It really is. But you, you know what I mean? Depressing posts on Facebook. <clears throat> i tell you what. Have a quick scroll through your Facebook now while we're, while we're here. See if you can find me a nice depressing Facebook to read out. A depressing post, OK? Good morning to Duke. Good morning, Duke, who is bored at work. We well, wouldn't be bored if I was there, Duke. Would you, my love? Go on, pack up and come round here. Come and join in the show today. We can do a double header. A du do you know what a double header is? No, Duke, no. That, no, no, dear. That's not what I mean, dear. No, no, no. A double header is when two people are hosting a show at the same time. Something I'm not that good at, actually. I, I, I don't feel comfortable doing double headers. Some people need someone else sitting next to them in the studio. To be able to do a show. I don't I don't feel I need that. In fact, it puts me off. Especially certain people. You can't get a bloody word in. I mean, I'm not going to mention my best mate, Ron. I'm not going to mention him. But when he starts, you can't get a bloody word in. I know that. You're, you're quite shocked at that. It's true. Wait till the next time he comes up here. You can't get a word in. On and on and on he goes. God. So, Duke, you pack up and come round. I'll pay your bus fare, darling. A bus fare. Is it is it costs plus travelling or was that the other job you used to do? You know, when you when you charged the fee plus travelling expenses. That's a little job that you used to do, isn't it, Juki? A little bird tells me, lovey. Yes. Mm. Uh, Adam says, is, a, is it a sparrow ball you can make different shapes with it and put your head in as a picture that you previously had? Quite possibly. No one has guessed what this wonderful little thing is. Now... You are gonna... Alan says Ronnie talks too much. Well, I don't like to say anything like that, darling, you know. Now, you are gonna want one of these. Hang on, what were we just talking about? Oh, yeah, can you find us... Get Look for depressing Facebook posts, please. Depressing Facebook posts. Um, is that really... Ja Jamie taught me everything. Duke, well, there you go, darling. I mean, you could still earn a little bit of money if you wanted to, lovey. You could. I think you could. Especially if you keep doing, go, how's the gym going? Because Duke has started going to the gym. Oh, please. That's reminded me of something else that I've written down here. Very, very disappointed with myself. Adam, are you ready to spank me? Because weight has increased since Easter. All throughout Lent, I gave up bread, cakes, crisps, chocolates, sweets. I gave all those things up. As soon as Easter came, that was for Lent. Now, Lent, for those of you that are heathens and are completely non-religious, which is shocks me, to be honest, you know, I would think I would see more of you at church on a Sunday. But for some reason, you don't come. There I am, sitting all on my own next to my friend Vivian. Vivian and me would be pleased to have you in church at any time. And you're not there. How disappointing is that? Anyway... Back to the weight thing. Uh, so Lent finishes at Easter. So Easter, I thought I'd have a bag of crisps. I had some chocolate and I've had cakes. Well, it's carried on, isn't it? I'm shocked and horrified to tell you I have put on half a stone in weight. And I noticed this while I was on holiday because I couldn't do my trousers up anymore. Not even, you know, when it, you can just about do them off and it hurts. No, can't do them up. This morning, I've gone next door. I've, I ha I have, I'm now on limited amount of shirts. Because they won't do up around my stomach. I have put on half a stone since Easter. Not happy, dear. Not happy. Anyway, I had to. I wanted to confess that to you, Father Adam, as a great sin. 
and I must have my pet. You must dish out some penance to me, some punishment for putting on that weight. What are you going to do? Come on, Adam, I need punishment. Uh, Adam, uh, uh, please, um, th I'm going to have to remove that comment, Mr. Blake. We don't have rudeness on this programme, dear. We don't have rudeness on this programme. Dear me. Right. Uh, are you one of the fitties yet, Duke? Since you've been going down that gym, are you, are you, is it still a work in progress? You'll be able to put your price up if you get a nice body, won't you, my love? <laughs> what are you going out for now? About £20. £20 a session. <laughs> Nathan says, who are you in favour of, Chris? Labour or Conservatives? I never identify myself as a political person, my friend. Conservative. Oh, something's gone wrong here. Hang on a minute. Is this still going wrong? I have a feeling this is still going wrong, is it? <laughs> oh, dear. Just a moment, please. We are still having a little bit of a problem here, I think. Uh, ah, there we go. Right, we are, yeah, we are still having a little bit of a problem here, boys and girls. I'm sorry about that. Uh, hello to Danielle, who says, Hi, Chris, how are you? I'm OK, thank you very much. Is that all right again now? Let's have a look. I think that's all right again now, is it? Dear. I've, mm, I don't know what to do, really. Should we, should we carry on? Should we carry on? Should we carry on? Yeah, you're, you're still having a little bit of a problem, aren't you there? Right, uh, let's go back to this. Um, where, where's Adam's message here? Just a second. Ah. Adam, is it a, uh, there we are. We'll go back here. Is it a sparrow ball? Uh, no. Watch this, watch this. What, you ready? Ready? Look. How fabulous is that? Look at this. I love it. Could we put that under there somehow? Would that be quite good? If that, no, it's a bit too much. Or maybe on its own instead of the mirror ball. Would you like that turning? On its own instead of the mirror ball, would you? I think we might test that out for you. We might give that a go, okay? And put that up there like that so that revolves instead of the mirror ball. I love it. Look at this, look. And it's fantastic. You want one? Look. Now, where did this come from? My nephew, Gary Butler, international, who I was in, on holiday with last week, him and his family, him and his little family, he won that out of a machine. First of all, he won one for his son, Harry Butler, who's, who is turning into a mad person, the same as my nephew and the same as myself. I'm very happy to say Harry Butler is turning quite mad. He is now four years old. Happy birthday, Harry. He's the little boy who we had a little uh, birthday celebration. My nephew's wife arranged in that Frankie and Benny's and the cake came out. Three members of staff bought the cake out. Two waitresses and one very good looking waiter. They came round the corner. Happy birthday to you. Cake blazing. Harry promptly jumped up from the table and hid underneath it and wouldn't come out until they'd gone. Aren't they funny little people like that? I love it. I love it. Uh, good morning to Sean. Morning, Sean, who says, first thing that depresses me on my Facebook was we're giving out 50 free spins to new players. No deposit needed. Plus, you get to keep all your winnings. Have you ever won anything on those things? I must say, I've never done the online gambling. I have had a couple of bets before. I lost, I lost, uh, what was it? I lost money on... No, I've never lost money. I've lost bets, but I'm not in debit, if you see what I mean. Not not in debt. Not in de I did win a big bet once on the Eurovision Song Contest a few years ago. That was when I bet I bet a uh, hundred pounds actually on Rise Like a Phoenix, and it won, and I won four hundred and fifty pounds. That's not bad, is it? Of course, they had uh, Simon. Simon, who watches this program avidly, bet me twenty pounds that the UK would win the Eurovision this weekend. And of course it didn't. And I told him not to not to bet. We were absolutely not going to win. But he still carried on, still wanted to bet me £20. So thank you very much, Simon. We'll have that £20. Thank you very much. Um, Sean is going to climb Mount Snowden for charity shortly, boys and girls. Good luck, Sean. Rather you than me, love. They must have installed a stair lift by now. God's sake, that old mountain definitely needs a little stair lift or a travelator like they have at um, at um, uh, airports and that sort of thing. Is that not a good idea? 
I think that might be a good idea. Yes. Uh, so, Nathan, uh, did I answer you? Labour or Conservatives? Conservatives, Nathan. Conservatives. I'm a conservative reporter, OK? But that doesn't mean that you can be nasty to me and start slagging me off on air. Because you will be blocked. <laughs> and if you're a Labour supporter, that's fine as well. That's fine as well. We should all get on instead of slating each other. Have you seen some of them? The Labour left, dear. The really hard left. If you put, I vote Conservative, they, they want you to die. What's all that about? For God's sake, man. Dear me. Um, let's have a look. There we are. Uh, Richard. Good morning, Richard. Richard, who says, is, is it a Hoberman sphere expanding ball? Oh, is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. Is it a hope expanding ball? Look at that. Very strong. Look, don't break. Isn't it great? I love it. it. It It's like some sort of chemistry thing, isn't it? You know, like when you were doing chemistry at school. Oh, God, that was boring, weren't it? Let's learn the periodic table. Oh, God, how boring. Um, and what help has that been to you in your life? Come on, anyone? Did anyone learn? Well, you you should have done. I think you had to learn the periodic table at chemistry lessons, didn't you? Did that has that helped you at any point since you left school? I bet it hasn't. It's like all that maths and algebra and all that. When is it? When is it since I left school in nineteen seventy? Nine, eight, seven, six, something like that. Since I left school, have I ever used algebra? A2 equals BC squared plus D. No. Whenever I needed the periodic chemistry table, have I gone into a chemist? You know, with my little doctor's prescription. I say, oh, good morning. Could I have my prescription, please? And she looks at it and she says, well, I don't know. What is number six on the periodic table first? Well, I don't know. I don't know. How boring is that? A table of elements. If you want to be a scientist, then fine. Yes, I'm sure it's very useful. Not to me. Though how rubbish that is, honestly. Uh, well done, Richard. I think you got that right. Um, uh, Stafford, if you carry on with the rude words, you will be blocked. I'm warning you. You Here is your warning. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You will be blocked if you keep being rude to my millions of, of wonderful, tasteful listeners. Not that I want to lick you all. There's a couple of people I might want to have a little lick of it. Uh -uh. Would you like to be licked? I might come behind you once when you're not suspecting it and lick the back of your ear. I think you'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm going to do that to Duke. Next, <laughs> Duke who's on here. I'm going to do that to him, I think, when, when he was sitting in front of me. <laughs> Sean loves the Mirable. I love the Mirable. It's been there years. Do you work in Belushi still? No, Daniela. I'm sorry, no, Danielle. A long time. You look lovely with that little baby of yours, darling. Oh, how lovely. Uh, no, I, 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 I finished at Belushi's about three years ago, uh, completely. Uh, they had a new manager come in, the London Bridge one, who was nice, but didn't want karaoke, so he cancelled it. Uh, the two nights died a death. A year later, he went, they got a new bloke in who then rang me and said, do you want to come back? And I already had another job. And I'm, I'm quite loyal to people who give me jobs. You know, so if you was to offer me a job, maybe you run a bar, which of course you don't. But if you run a bar and you give me a job, I don't know, sort of 50 quid a night or whatever, 100 pound a night, 200 pound a night, 500 pound a night, whatever. Uh, say, say it was say, say it was 100 pounds a night <clears throat> and I was with you and I was happy. Someone else comes along and says, well, we want you to work here. We'll give you 150 pound a night. If I'm happy with you, I'll stay with you. I'm very, very loyal. I've got to be really, really fed up and annoyed to leave somewhere or something happens that I don't like, you know, uh, I work at the two brewers in Clapham and they're about to go to three o'clock and I, uh, 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 at some point in June. So I'm just waiting for the governor to give me a date when that's going to happen. And then I shall be out of there because I can't be working till three o'clock in the morning. Tonight I work till two o'clock and that by far is my latest night, you see, by two hours. Generally, my finish times are at the moment... 11.30, 10.30, 2 a.m., 12, 12 and 11. 
The new one starts on Sunday because we've got a new karaoke starting this Sunday at the Camden Eye. I don't know if that's near you, Daniela. Uh, the Camden Eye, which is like a Belushi's type atmosphere in there. OK, the Camden Eye in Camden Town, very close to uh, the tube station, starts this Sunday, 8 p.m. till 11 p.m. Uh, so once once the two brewers starts going till three o'clock, I should be out of there. I've been there since 1999. There was about a two or three year break in the middle somewhere. But I'm in there since 99. Three o'clock's too late for me. I can't can't do it anymore. Too old. Too old. Um, we are still having a little bit of a problem with this going off, so I'm sorry about that, all right? Uh, hello to Joe Chapman. Hello, Joe. Long time. Where have you been, Joe? All these people I haven't seen for ages and ages here. I can't believe it. Uh, apologies once again. Uh, the, the stream seems to keep going off to you. In front of me, everything looks fine. The recording, as far as I know, is all carrying on. Probably the recording will be fine and won't won't have any... Cutoffs, but for some reason the stream is going off this morning. I don't think it's my end, okay? Yes, good morning, Joe. Nice to see you, sir. Uh, Richard says there is a song about the periodic table. Is there really? What is it? <clears throat> How does it go? <laughs> is there a link to a, a YouTube uh, thing about the periodic table or something like that? I don't know that one. I don't know that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Daniela says, I've been there for ages, moved five years ago to Hastings. Oh, wow. Uh, I knew two. Oh, no, I don't think they're down in Hastings. Two of my friends moved to Hastings, um, Brandon and Stefano, but I don't think they're there anymore. I think they moved They moved from there to Great Yarmouth, actually. That's right. There, I, 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 while I was in Norfolk last week, I was in Norfolk last week on a little holiday uh, with my nephew and his little family. There were three people down there that I know that wanted to meet me, but unfortunately, I was on a family holiday and I felt a bit rude, you know, oh, I'm going away today, you know, if you're with family. I think it's a little bit much to sort of leave them and go and meet people. I would, I might have done it once, but there were three of them and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't meet any of them. There was um, Stefano, as I say, he's down there, and Brandon, they they, they said did, did they want me to come and meet them. Uh, there was young uh, Sean Riches, who does the mobile... Oh, does he still do the mobile discos? He's a milkman. And there was uh, Ross Patzel, of course, a very good friend of mine for, my God, uh, 10 years. I've never actually met him. We did uh, internet radio on CMP Radio years and years ago. It's about, it's about 10, 11 years ago now. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't meet any of them while I was down there in Norfolk. Beautiful part of the country, isn't it? Norfolk. And Suffolk as well, of course. Just countryside. And I love the little pig houses. You know, you know when you go down, you get, like, on a main road, and there's little pigs and little houses. And I, I don't feel too badly about that. I know they're being reared for, for eating and all that, which, you know, I'm vegetarian. But at least they've got the freedom to roam out there. What I really object to is factory farming. Factory farming where you've got pigs and they live their entire lives in little cages. That is just awful. Look it up on YouTube. Look it up on YouTube. Uh, Daniela, as I say, moved to Hastings. Uh, used to love you in there. And thanks. Uh, is a Christmas Eve baby. Oh, two lots of presents at Christmas. It just gets better and better for your lot, doesn't it, Daniela? I hope you're spoiling them. But a little, little bit of advice, Daniela. I don't, uh, Daniela. Why am I calling you Daniela? A little bit of advice, Daniela. Um... I don't know what your money situation's like. Never, ever bother money, borrow money for Christmas or holidays or anything like that. If you can't afford it, you don't have it. Or you can get into terrible debts. Terrible debts. Never borrow, borrow money for Christmas presents. I know people that do that. And then they're paying off the whole year and they finish paying it off and it's Christmas again. You're better off just buy something you can afford. Do you know what I mean? Um, Richard says... Uh, it's probably Facebook playing up. It could well be. I don't know. It could well be. Ah, Richard sends a link. Let's have a quick look at this to see what this is. It's a Facebook. Uh, what is it? The periodic table um, song. I hope it's not rude. Can we just play a little bit of that? Let's have a ASAP Science presents oh. the elements of the periodic table. There's hydrogen and helium, then lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon everywhere, nitrogen all through the air with oxygen, so you can breathe in for for your pretty teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the sodium for salty times Magnesium Aluminium Silicon Phosphorus Then sulfur chlorine Then argon I love it <laughs> The periodic song uh, uh, timetable So I love it Well done 
We like that very much. Thank you very much, Richard. Have a look at that. You see Richard's put a little link there um, on the uh, on the uh, on the comments section there, boys and girls. All right, so have a look at that. Daniela says, I haven't seen you in ages. I'm looking well. I'm a bit older now, Daniela. I'm 54 now. Oh, there's Sean. We were just talking about you then, Sean. What a shame you weren't there earlier. You've missed it. You've missed what we were saying. Now you're going to have to go back on the little old recording and, uh, and find it yourself. All right. <laughs> Good. Um... Recycling. Now, recycling is in the news this morning, boys and girls. Uh, on BBC News this morning, I saw a little story about recycling. And um, they showed you a video. And one of the problems with recycling is that some packaging has so many different types of material in them. Now, the worst offender, apparently, is Pringles tubes. Now, you probably like Pringles um, I, I love the barbecue ones. And as the advert goes, it's quite right. Once you pop them, you can't stop. As you well know, you open those Pringles and you can't stop eating them. Am I right? I love the barbecue ones. But there's a bit of a problem with the packaging. It's one of the... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a... Let, let's, uh, let's just take this call from Adam the Plumber. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Chris Redden, International. Right. Uh, good morning. A little technical difficulty. I think that seems to have sorted itself out now, whatever that it was. Does. Good, good. This is a uh, father of Slimming World calling. Oh, yes. Yes, you have sinned, my son. I have what? You have sinned. I have sinned, I'm afraid. I've somehow managed to put on half a stone. I'm not happy. I don't, now, I, would you know... you like your, how would you like your punishment? Would you like it in the form of song or in the form of some other repent? In the form of song, um, then then you wish to have it in the form of song. Go on, then I'll have it in the form of song because I can't see how else you can. At, at, at your ne at your next karaoke, then my son, you will sing all by myself. Oh, I can't sing that. That is your sin. I've you got to learn repent, that. I've... Or you can repent and join Slimming World. <sighs> Well, I mean, you know, I've, do you know, I've still got the, the, I've got the chocolates here that you gave me, and the Slimming and the World, and I haven't opened it. I've got to go uh, to a uh, Slimming uh, World class. Yes. Haven't I? You have. You have. I think you have, Chris. You have to, you have to say to yourself, draw a line under what you've done. Yes. Move forwards and set a new, set a new target for yourself. Half, half a stone in weight. According to you, mm. wouldn't be wouldn't be too difficult to lose quickly, would it? What's that? Three Took me weeks. Two weeks. Three weeks. Two weeks. Really? Done in a week. Some of, some of the swimming world people, if they follow the plan, if you follow the plan, yeah, they can do it in a week. I've seen people lose half stone in a week. I need to go to this. What day is it mm -hmm. today? Thursday. I don't know. It's all dependent on your local your local club. Hang on a minute. Slimming World Bracknell. Let's have a look. Your nearest Slimming World. Let's have a look. Slimming World Groups in Bracknell. Here we go. Is there anything for Thursdays? Oh, Thursday, 3.30. East Hampstead, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. There's Tuesdays. Mondays. No, Mondays are no good. Tuesdays, are, Tuesdays might... Oh, Forest Park Community Centre. Right, I'm, I'm going to go to one. I'm going to go to one at some point this week. I have Good to go you, to Chris. it. It's just too much. Good. It's just too Good much, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alan Russell says, I've lost half a stone in four days. How can you have mm -hmm. done that? You must have diarrhoea. <laughs> <laughs> ah. How ghastly, dear, ghastly. <laughs> yes. Well, my, my slimming world journey continues with a half a half a pound loss last night. Excellent. Last night? Yes, last night. Uh, 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 well, at the weigh-in, because you weigh in weekly, you see. Oh, right, yeah, the... yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 would you like a brief description on how slimming world works? Yes, go on. Do, do let views. us know. How does slimming world okay. work? Go on. Okay, so on your first visit to a slimming world, don't panic, don't worry. You'll be greeted by one of the lovely slimming world people. Yes. 
and you'll you'll sit down with a group of other people, all in the same boat as you, and they will explain right. how Slimming World works. Right. So they go through the book with you and how the actual Slimming World works. It's not a diet. A lot of people think it's a diet. It's not. It's a lifestyle change. Yeah. Um, and basically what you do is you work your way through the book and everything has a sin value. So, for instance, if we took, I don't know, um, let's say a bar, a, a 12, a, a, a dairy, um, what is it, Cadbury's 12. Now, yes. that is 11 sins for right. one of those. That's so a lot, you, isn't it? You, 11 sins? 11 sins. Now, as a man, you're allowed between 20 and 25 a day. As yes. a lady, you're allowed between 15 and 20. Yes. I believe. Um, it's not about cutting food out. It's just about how, monitoring what you eat. Um, right. Keeping a food diary. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can either take a picture of your, what you've had for dinner and then just record it in the diary later. You can write it down in a diary. You hand that in once a week and the consultant will sort of pick up anything that, you know, she, like, for instance, you could put down that you've had four bags uh, of crisps over the course of a week. Yeah. And sort of say, okay, why did you need to have four bags of crisps? Why couldn't you have had a healthy option like um, an apple or oh, a banana? Nice. A banana, yes. An apple, no. But apples yep. hurt my teeth. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I have the same problem. I have no teeth, so I can't <laughs> eat apples. But <laughs> well, don't, can't you just suck them really hard, apples? <laughs> I could, yeah, I could suck them really hard. I mean, <laughs> Carry the on. Be- the best thing to do is set yourself a realistic goal. Now, I've set myself at 12 stone. When I started this journey, just before I started this journey, I was 20 stone. Right, yes. When I started, um, when I started the journey, I, was, I weighed in 19 and a half stone. Um, I've now lost two stone 10 pounds. Right. In the course, of, that's since January. Right. And I haven't, I have not exercised once. All I've done is just changed what I've eaten. That is fantastic. And and and, and they do pro, you know, they, the part of the swimming world is it's not, you know, it's not just for dead animal eaters, vegetarians as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it, it, it is it is doable. It is achievable. I think it's the meeting that I've got to go to, love. <laughs> if I can go, yeah. you know, it's all very well. Uh, and that I is thank a big you. part of it. That is a very big part of it. If you can get to the meeting each week, yeah. uh, I always say to people, try and go each week because yeah. it's not just about the weigh-in. And even if you think, I mean, I'll give you an example. One of our ladies came back from the holiday in America. Now, you know how big they are. Yeah, in America. yeah, yeah. Everything's oh, big yeah, portions. Yeah. She was petrified of the weigh-in. She was absolutely petrified. She thought, I've blown it, you know, I've been away, I've eaten dead animal burgers and I've eaten this, that and the other. And, you know, I've blown it. She came back with a three pound loss. Wow. Because she had monitored what she was eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, give you, an exa- give you another example for it. Um, you know, it's like uh, there was this little story they told us and it was Janet Smith, it was Janet Smith sort of thing. Um, and she went, you know, she sort of got her little girl up for school she made her breakfast she had a nibble of her breakfast and she took her to school while she's at school walking her to school she had a couple of handfuls of the little girl's crisps yes and it went on and on and on like that and she because she hadn't wanted the the food she'd taken in she'd had over 60 sins that day wow just by not monitoring so it's all all about monitoring and portion size bits and pieces here and there isn't it really you know uh, uh, the books that you get and i'm eternally grateful for the bits and pieces you've given me actually Mm. sitting down and opening up because what tends to happen is i open a book and i start flicking through it i Mm -hmm. flick i see i I don't read it all i read a bit oh, oh it's very long i'll just go to the next i'm a bit like that with as a group that would be much better like it's a little bit like um at school, I couldn't read. Mm-hmm. I found it very difficult to learn something from a book. I can read. Don't get me wrong. Yep. I can read perfectly. But to learn mm. from a book or, um, mm-hmm. say, fix a car from a Haynes manual. Now, my brother-in-law yep. can pick up a book, look, oh, right, that's how you do it, and do it. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. You've got to show me with your hands what to do. Yep. And it's a bit mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the nice thing with Slimming Will, because you'll have your book as your backup. Mm. Right, so and you you have your app if if you've got a smartphone user, yes. you'll have your app as well. So you can always before you pick up that that Cadbury's twelve or that um, sandwich from Marks and Spencers, which you think is lovely, you know it's all full of salad, it's all full yeah, of chicken. Yeah, oh yeah. But yeah. when you but when you actually scan it, it's actually probably got more sins 
in that for your whole days for your whole days intake in that one sandwich. Wow. To give an example, a um a bacon and tomato sandwich from Marks and Spencer's. Uh, sorry, a what did? Um a what? A, a, say a, a say a, a, a dead animal uh, sandwich. Thank and you, a de- dead animal sandwich. That's better. Yes. Dead animal sandwich with lettuce and salad and <laughs> all the nice things, and it looks really lovely. And you think, oh, that's lovely and healthy. Yeah. It's probably got about twenty eight sins in it. Gosh, and that's one because sandwich. of all the. Because of all the sauces and all the flavourings that they use yeah. to enhance that flavour, so you yeah. buy that sandwich again. Yeah. Now, what, what what do you recommend I do with the sinful foods that I've still got in my cupboard? Would you finish those first, or chuck them well, away? You, no. Well, what you could do, um, or give them to an do... elderly person's home. I think there's a you few could... of those watching today, to be honest. But <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could, you could always bring them. You could always bring them along to karaoke to me, and I would put them in the UK Homes for Heroes uh, food basket that feed the homeless service personnel on the streets of the oh, UK. That's a nice thing to do. Or maybe I could give them away as prizes to thin people. You could do an open the box. <laughs> or an... I could give them out to the yeah, and don't say who this is. The diabetes no. table. Do you know the diabetes mm-hmm. table? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> you, know what you, you know what you want to do. Do you remember that game show, Open the Box? Was it Open the... What was it? Take what the money. Open the box. Yeah. Um, the take box. your pick. Take your pick. Take... Take your pit. Now, I used to do the one of those on my karaoke shows. Yeah. I used to do it as part of when I used to do my karaoke shows. I used to say, do you want the Take the Pick show on top? And they used to say, oh, what prize? And I used to say to them. So it's like, OK, do you want what's in the envelope here or do you want what's in the box? And, you know, if they went for what's in the box, it would, either, as you know, it would either be a, a rubber band or something. And I'd open the box and say, congratulations, you have won a meal for two. Here's the baked beans, here's the, here's the potatoes, and here's the, the stew. You've just got to cook it yourself. And they used to love it. <laughs> it was, you know, there's a couple of serious problems. Oh, I'm like going to have to, I'm gonna have to use, I'm going to have to use that one at some point. I've got a, yeah. a special karaoke coming up. Um, mm-hmm. In, um, let me have a look. We're, I'm doing this for the some of the Manilow girls, the Matt mm. Barry Manilow Music Project, which raises money for schools yep. and that. We're doing a oh, it's at the end of July on Saturday, the 29th of July in Woking, which is mm-hmm. uh, which is out sort of this way. And um, yep. they'll have things like that. I'll have to do that one. The meal for two, tin of potatoes, mm-hmm. a tin of beans, and a tin of corned beef, a tin of dead animal chopped up or something like that. That's yeah. It. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's very good. So How many Chris, sins your, in a tin of baked be... beans, incidentally? Do you know? So, so again, baked beans are free. Free? Yep, you can eat as many baked beans as you like. I love baked They're beans free. on toast. So you can now, for instance, you could have for breakfast. I'll give you. I'll give you a breakfast yeah. that you could have: baked beans, scrambled eggs, <gasps> oh. mushrooms, and tomatoes. You could eat all that totally free, without worrying. No, me- no weighing, no measuring. Well, at the moment, I have bran flakes. What are they then? Uh, bran flakes. Hold on, let me just. Okay, fruit. Up for you. Fr- f- correction: fruit and fibre. Fruit and fibre. Okay. Uh, do you know the make? Is it Waitrose? Uh, Sainsbury's. So, oh, Sainsbury's. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just bear with me for two seconds. I'll just say hello to a All couple right. of people while you're chatting there. Um, Adel- Alan says that's brilliant. What you've lost there. Okay, Adam. Hello to Ben, mm-hmm. who's uh, watching in Greece this morning. Good morning, Ben. Nice to see you. Oh, when am I going to see you? Last time I saw you was in Blumina uh, King's Cross at the Golden Lion when we, when that was open, wasn't it? That's gone now, that one. Uh, morning to Tony Powell this morning as well. I'm sorry we are having a little bit of a technical difficulty, okay. which isn't my end. It's somewhere between... Um, uh, you lovely people and myself. I think it's something to do with Facebook. So sorry, we're, the the picture we keep disappearing now and again. This won't happen on the recording, is If you watch the recording back later, um, then you'll you'll be able to see that uh, 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 fully. Okay, carry on, Adam. Good. Right. Okay. So we've got Sainsbury's whole grain fruit and fibre cereal at twenty five gram bowl is four and a half sins. Now add your milk onto that as well. Because uh, presumably you would have milk. Now, do you have soy? You have soya milk, don't you? Uh, or do you have no milk? milk? On my breakfast, I have gold yep. top milk. <gasps> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you all right, dear? You sounded like you were having a stroke then. <laughs> Can you do the stroke oh. face? Do the stroke face. <laughs> Go and do the stroke face. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> I am. I'm going to have to go to church. I'm going to have to go to the <laughs> church now. I've heard that. Hold anyway, on. go let's on. See, let, let's, oh, let's see if the gold top milk's on there. I don't know if it. I don't know if it'll come up. Hold on. Uh, well, it, it doesn't really. Ooh. To be honest, Adam, it doesn't matter. What has mm. surprised me? Yeah. Now I have bran flakes in the morning. They're okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do I really yep. want to eat bran flakes in the morning? <laughs> Not really. No. No. I'd rather have a, a, a fry-up, obviously, without <laughs> dead animals. Yep. But I could have all that. Baked mm -hmm. beans, eggs. Mm -hmm. What else was it? Yep. Tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, mushrooms. Mushroom. And, and how would those and be you, cooked? And you, can and you can fry those in fry light as well. What's, a, what's a that fry light? What's that? Fry light is only one calorie per spray. It's a spray oil. Oh, is it? Um, well, could you just and, and, and it's it's only one. It's only one. I think it's only one tin per spray or something. So you can have one spray of that on your. But you could just you put it. Fry you your, could fry you, your um, mushrooms or whatever. You could put it under and the then, grill, couldn't you? You can put it on what? Sorry. I'm very happy grilling stuff. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Grilling's good. Yeah. So you can do it that way. So I could have all that. Mm. Instead of and those boring simple. brown flakes, and it would yeah, actually be, be better for me. Yeah, and it'd be better for you because, now, you see, I'll give you an example, Chris. <laughs> My breakfast is always the same in the morning um, because uh, because I'm, um, I have a fish and nut allergy. I have to be careful what I eat. You have a what? So, I have a fish and nut allergy. Oh, right, okay. Um, um, so, I have to be careful what I eat. Um, so, basically, it's um, scrambled eggs. Yes, Dead animal sausage, dead animal bacon, baked beans, um, and two brown bread and butter. And right. that is about four sins because of the sausages. Wow. Because the bacon is free, because as long as I cut the fat off the bacon, that is a free food. Um, the beans are free, the scrambled egg is free. The only reason there's a little bit of sin there is because obviously scrambled egg is mixed in with milk. But I think you're allowed, I think it's 330 ml of milk a day. Now, what oh. a lot of people do is they will c carry a container of milk with them with 330 ml of milk in it, and how then you can just add it to your tea. How many cups of like tea that. would you get out of that? Bearing in mind, number one, I use mm. unsweetened soya, soya milk, and number two, I don't know if you know how much milk I put in tea. It's literally about five small drops. That's it. Yeah, well, I think... Um... Uh, that would do soya. for my tea for the day, wouldn't it? Soya milk, is that any different? Unsweetened? Uh, soya milk. I think soya milk is free. Let me just check. Oh. On. Hold on. Uh, oh, hold on. No. Oh, dear. Oh, Incidentally, dear. Oh, just, dear. A, just a little tip here. Anyone who's thinking soya. of trying soya yeah, milk, I must tell you, Alpro, A-L-P-R-O, who are like the, the major soya milk people, they have changed the taste of their soya milk. And it's if you put it in tea, it will completely change the taste of your tea. What you need to do is get the Waitrose or Sainsbury's unsweetened own brand soya milk, and that's as it was. That, that won't change the taste. And putting that in your tea is just the same as, to me, uh, putting milk in your tea if you, do, if you want that. So don't buy that Outpro stuff anymore because they've put a taste in it and it's vile. Vile. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Yeah. Uh, well, let's just have a look. Um, I'm just looking up uh, Sainsbury's soya milk. Now uh, you've mentioned that, right? Sainsbury's soya milk unsweetened. Actually, that's not too bad. That's only one sin per 100 mils. Okay, that's not bad, is it? But if you just have normal normal soy milk, yep. it's about between 8 and 10 sins per 100 mils. Right, okay. But you do have, for, exi for example, um, uh, Sainsbury's uh, soy milk calcium enriched, sweet and chilled, yeah. is 6 sins per 300 mils. But right. it is one of your healthy extras. Right, yeah. So by having yeah. that, that is one of your healthy extras for the day. Okay. You, so so you can have 300 ml of the um, Sainsbury sweetened and calcium enriched one, and that's fine. All right, you've used six sins, but it's one of your healthy extras. <laughs> well, that's excellent. That'll, that, that'll all be explained at Slimming World, how the healthy extra thing works and how excellent. everything works like that. I shall be going. Don't worry, I shall be going.
Good, good. And before I go, Chris, um, just to let you know, I will be in Central on Monday if anybody wants to come down and join me. Oh, lovely. Well, I've got to learn that song by then, haven't I? Yes, I'll be down on Monday if anybody wants to. uh, But no no, no massive birthday cakes, please. Is it your birthday (laughs) on Monday? It's Tuesday, but I'm coming down to celebrate on Monday because I want to be with my friends. Adam's birthday on Monday. No birthday cakes. All oh, right. Well, you, yeah. could, you could bring me a little one. You could bring me a, like a Victoria sponge slice or something, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a night off from... Because you can have I mean, if, I, I, You see, I understand... If you say no birthday cake, I understand <laughs> that because years ago, I, I mean, I was mm. a little bit too far the other way. I was being mm-hmm. silly with my food and I did... I, I lost... Um, I wasn't... Um, anorexic but i weren't far mm-hmm. from it i don't think and i w- i just would refuse any cakes or anything like that and i say yeah. look i don't it's a li- little bit like saying you know would you like a drink no i don't want to drink oh go on have a drink yeah no, i don't want to drink the only oh, we'll just I have one and they go on like, the only reason i say to people a lot of time no birthday cake is because a lot of birthday cakes have nuts in them or have marzipan on them right which have got almonds in them so if they want to kill me on my birthday that's fine you know, celebrating the fact that I've lived so long. <laughs> I suppose I could make you one. Yeah. But then if I was to buy flour or something... Oh, no, that's that's fine. You, know, you don't know if it's, it's been made where nuts are processed and all that, do you? That no, no, is... I mean, gen- gen- in general, that's OK. I it... mean, I would probably oh. die if something happened to you, dear. Mind you, oh. you'd be dead before I die, wouldn't you? So, <laughs> no. <laughs> So I mean, yeah, I mean, basically, as long, uh, with the with the fishing analogy, I mean, I've I've survived coming up forty five years of it, right? Yeah, and um, you know, I just read the back of the package, and, and as long as it says it doesn't specifically say this may contain peanuts or almonds, yes, then if it says it's been made in an environment where nuts are present, then I don't generally worry, right? So you know, that apart from that. But anyway, it'd be lovely to see all my nice friends down at Central Station on Monday night for oh. Chris Reardon's karaoke. No, no, not for Chris Reardon's karaoke. For Adam's uh, birthday party, dear. Well, that as well, yeah. Adam's big <laughs> birthday. I think we've gone on. off again, actually. I've just got a message here this time that says, oh. your transmission has gone off or something. Oh, I don't know. I think we'll have to wrap have up here, to be honest, Let's Adam. Hold on, dear. Hold on, dear. Let me just, uh, let me just fire you up on the, uh, on the backup device. Oh, is it, are we on a backup on. device as well? <laughs> no, Alan working. says you're, Alan you're, says you're for on, his breakfast he has poached egg on toast with plum tomatoes. That's what Adam has. Uh, Alan yeah, has. that sounds nice. I yeah. mean, the bre- the, you know, you don't do white bread anyway, do you? you do no, not at all. Not at all. Granary and all. Yeah, oh, that, here's, that, here's that, one okay. from Tony here, Adam. Tony says I have a very healthy breakfast while I was in Las Palmas. Three bacon's. T- three mm. bits of dead animal, two eggs, mm. two two mm. dead sausages, tomato, baked beans, two hash brownies, mushrooms, oh. three pieces of toast, American fries. Not my <laughs> usual breakfast, but it was such a nice change to what I would normally have. <laughs> my God, oh my God! If that if, if that was if he if he, if he was in the Slimming World, it would be been chucked out for life. I think he'd be chucked out, wouldn't he? They, he would be taken out and beaten, beaten. Don't eat that. Beat them down. Beat them, dear. And, and as I say, the one nice thing, if, if anybody is considering Slimming World, don't worry. They're not there to judge. We're all in the same boat. And as a, as a team, you know, because it's all like a team, um, as a team, you will, you will learn from each other and you will lose the weight. You know, as, as the great words say, set yourself a goal, believe it in your soul. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Thank you, Adam. Yep. We'll, we'll leave it there, my darling. Yep. Take care. Lots Much appreciated. Love. Bye-bye, Adam. Here. Bye. Adam the Plumber, our Slimming World correspondent there, boys and girls. Right, um, we'll do the birthdays. I'm going to leave that recycling story now because um, uh, people are still getting cut off, unfortunately, this morning on the live stream. I'm sorry about that. I'm sure it isn't this end, uh, although I will reset everything once we finish today. Let's do today's birthdays. Uh, who the hell's that? That's a, let me have a look. Let me just check these. Are these people I know? I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's do that now. One moment. Righty ho, here come today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Esty. 
SD Garcia, who I used to work with at Belushi's in London Bridge. Oh, SD, it's lovely to see you, Don. Happy birthday to you. I don't know how old you are today. I'm sure you're still in your 20s, your low 20s. Low 20s. Happy birthday today to SD. Happy birthday, 27 years old, to O Omalola Mercy More Aquino, who's 27 years old today. Happy birthday to you, my darling, from us here in the UK. Nick Ashby is 47 today. Happy birthday, Nick. Millie Quack. Millie Quack, what a name. Happy birthday to Millie Quack. Carly Cocker. Happy birthday to Carly. John Kane, lovely picture, a little Pinocchio there. Happy birthday, John. Kimberly Clark, it's uh, her birthday today. Happy birthday, Kimberly. And Jose Iglesias is 48 years old today. Here comes the song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. Enjoy your birthdays, uh, boys and girls, whatever you're doing on this Thursday. Um, I can't say, oh, Duke says, save me from this boredness. There's nothing I can do, Duke. I'm afraid I'm about to disappear now, Duke. I'm about to go, so I'm afraid you're going to be very, very bored. Very bored in I'm sorry, little Duke, lovey. I don't even know what you do now. You must let us know what you're doing. Tony's off to the gym. Good luck, Tony. Um, and that's it today, boys and girls. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll be doing a little bit of DJing tonight. That's at the Two Brewers in Clapham. That's tonight, Thursday night. Now, don't forget Sunday. Sunday starts our brand new karaoke. And that is at the Camden Eye in Camden Town, right almost on top of the tube station. That's where it is there. Nice uh, early finish. It starts at 8 o'clock at night and finishes at 11 o'clock. Enjoy your Thursday. No swimming for me today. The swimming pool's closed, unfortunately, for two days. So I'm going to go out in the garden and uh, put in all the lovely plants I bought the other day, which I was going to tell you about. I'll have to save up for tomorrow. Well, hopefully our little technical issues will be sorted out. All right. Enjoy your Thursday. Thanks for watching and listening. Cheerio now. <laughs>